Hi and welcome or welcome back to my channel and to this review. I should say first of all I'm recording this video on a new camera. I bought the Nikon Z30. I know absolutely zero about cameras. I'm learning fast and so far I'm really really happy with it. I'm hoping it will elevate my videos um, moving forward. I was filming on my iPhone which is a bit tricky and not so great so we'll see I'm still getting to grips with it and learning about it anyway back to the review so I wanted to talk to you today about these trainers these are the Tory Burch good luck sneakers if you're in the States I did do an unboxing on this shoe and someone told me that I didn't have to do a video about the most stupidest sneaker ever. And I guess they were right. <laughs> but guess what? I'm doing another video about the most stupidest sneaker ever because I love these trainers. So what's there to say? Well, first of all, um, I'll link the unboxing down below so you can go see that if you haven't seen it yet. I'm a true size 7 UK. I ordered a size 7. I had seen about the sizing issue. Lots of people are saying they had to size up. But then other people were saying they didn't and they fitted perfectly. So I thought I'll go with my standard size. However, they did fit, but they felt really quite tight across the top of the foot on one shoe. So I just wore them a little bit around home sitting down and I thought no I, these are not great so I did send them back for an exchange what Tory Birch did which I thought was really weird they actually sent me the replacement pair before I'd returned these ones <laughs> sorry the other ones I got these before I'd sent them back and that made me a bit anxious because I thought, oh dear, I really better get to the post office and get these sent back, otherwise they're going to charge me for a second pair. Anyway, it was fine, but I was surprised about them doing that. Is that standard for Tory Birch? Maybe, maybe that is what they do. Anyway, so I got this pair in the new size, which was seven and a half. So a US nine and a half, I think. And they're absolutely perfect. I love these trainers. There's so much I can say about these. Anyway, I've had them a few weeks. Um, so you can see I've been wearing these. Um, and I've worn them probably most days that I've left the house. I've, I've been wearing these. They truly do go with any outfit. I've worn them with smart clothes to the office. I've worn them with jeans and a sweatshirt. I've worn them with jeans and a fancy top to go out and they look great. I mean, they are expensive. I think they're £290 in the UK. The, I've been thinking about these for many months, these sneakers, and I had an email from Tory Birch saying there's 30% off <laughs> these sneakers, so obviously I had to go for it. I think they came out £204. I know that is a lot of money, but cost per wear, I really am going to wear these a lot. Anyway, they still look great. I've been wearing these a ton. Not really that dirty. Can't really see any marks. I mean, they're looking really good. So the trainer itself, you'll see it's quite wedgy here. So it does give you a bit of height, which I like. It feels quite bouncy when you're walking along the street. I thought I feel taller, I feel bouncy. Um, so you can see here, there's several different materials. So this part is suede around here. Uh, this is leather here, and then obviously some textile here. One thing I really love is this part at the back of the shoe. I hope it's focusing in, I'm still learning. Um, which is the pull tab to pull them on, that makes it really, really easy to get them on and off. And it stops you from sort of treading down on the back of the shoe to pull them off because you can yank them down with this. So that's better for this part of the shoe. 
that's really handy. This part here is so soft and squidgy, it's really comfortable. And the tongue here is really thick and squidgy. They're amazingly comfortable, these shoes. I'm really delighted with them. They do seem excellent quality. You totally don't have to wear socks with these. I do, I wear those little pop socks, we call them here. I don't know what you call them in, in the States. But it's just like a very cut down version of a sock so you still get the sock on the bottom but it doesn't show so it looks like you're not wearing socks. I tend to wear those, they keep my feet a bit cooler and they're comfortable. But there they are, they are gorgeous. These are aubergine and sand I think they were called. They come with two other sets of laces. I showed them in my unboxing, quite a sporty kind of round pair of laces and then another set like this that's just this aubergine colour uh, to match. I'm just going with the standard white laces at the moment, I like these um, but I will switch them up when these get grubby, I'll switch them up, I'll probably put the aubergine colour ones in. I think it's a really beautiful shoe, the suede is absolutely gorgeous so soft and so comfortable. There's the sole with the wishbone for good luck. That's so cute isn't it? And obviously the Tory Birch emblem and here they are a little bit shouty these trainers if you don't really like branding maybe they're not for you although there are some other colours that are a bit toned down so if you get the full white ones, you can't really see this so much. It's not quite so obvious. But I, so far so good. I really would recommend these. I think they're incredibly comfortable. I think they're stylish for a sneaker. They really do look good with any outfit. I'm going to be using these a lot. I would consider another pair. I would really love the white, but... I don't know if I want to spend that much money on a white sneaker. I tend to go for all white Nike or Adidas, which also are, are a lot of money, but they're a lot less expensive than this one. So I think I probably wouldn't get the white in these after all. Um, however, like a colour or black would be really good. But yeah, overall, they are fantastic. I absolutely adore these trainers. I'm so glad that I bought them. But my advice would be to size up, maybe half a size. Um, or do what I did, try your regular size and then you can exchange them. If, if they're in stock, you can switch them out for slightly larger. Anyway, that's the end of my review today. The Tory Birch Good Luck Sneaker. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and consider it subscribing. I've got loads more to come. Uh, handbag reviews mostly. It's kind of unusual for me to do a sneaker review, but as they are um, designer, I thought I would mention them. Um, take care. I'll see you on the next one.